Hi, welcome to my channel. John Smarter Smarty here from the Pro Edge Marketing Group. Excuse my casualness today. We are breaking records here in Philadelphia. Today, it's in the high 80s. I almost did this video out on the riverfront where I was sitting out with my dog today and I came racing in here to shoot this video before the rest of my day gets crazy. So I hope you uh, don't mind my, uh, my wares here. What's important is the content. A lot of you have asked me over the last couple months, Smarty, I have a big list. Um, how do I ensure the list is clean? I have good emails. I don't have duplicates and so forth. So what I'm going to share in the short video is how to use Google Sheets to take that list and clean it up. So if you're an investor and you get a list of pre-foreclosures or probates, or you're a realtor and you use Remind to get a bunch of homeowners that have been in their house for over 20 years and they're probably going to be empty nesters soon and they may be likely to list their property, um, getting that list is the first step and then skip trace them to get emails and phone numbers. But the step I'm going to show you is what to do with that list now that you have it. And that's cleaning it up to get into production to start sending emails, drip campaigns, or putting them into custom audiences inside of Facebook. So let's dive into uh, Google Sheets and let me show you how easy it is to do the data cleanup. Okay, so here on Google Sheets, I have a sample list of a handful of emails that I'm going to show you. Uh, on the list here, you have uh, uh, one here that's uh, Jay Smith at Gmail. You have a Jennings.com. You have a, um, a, a Sally at, uh, at, at com. So a whole bunch of emails came in. This could have been a procured list that I have or through Remime, as I mentioned. You know, you get this list from anywhere, right? So now how do I do the cleanup? The first thing I do when I have the list is I'm going to put a couple other columns in the in the table so I can start scrubbing the list. The first one is going to I'm going to just do a, a, a column called validate. Uh, this this uh, is going to be the first column I add. And the next column I'm going to do, which is a little bit later, is what I call dupe. So I'm going to do a duplicate tracking to in the sheet to be able to get rid of the duplicates. So in order to do the validate, it's very easy in Google Sheets. There's a formula for that. So in the formula, what you want to do is in that column for the first row or row two here in my, my table, I'm going to hit the equal sign and I'm going to say is email is what I'm going to use as the formula. So as I type in is email, I'll have an open parentheses and I'm going to select the email that's over on column C and then I'm going to close the parentheses. So when I hit enter, true comes up because that looks like a valid email. Now, the other thing that Google does very well is instead of copying and pasting that formula through the row, it says it has a suggested autofill and I could just say yes. And now that's just put that same formula in each one of these rows relevant to the column next to it. So uh, as you can see here, I have false, true, false, true and so forth. I don't know if you, you know if you're like me, but I like to have visualization and color. So the second tip I'm going to show is how to put some conditional logic in uh, these values. So, so what I'm going to do to do color coding to make it more visual for me uh, as I'm working with the data is I'm going to highlight this entire column D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create conditional coloring uh, on this particular column. To, in order to do that, you're going to come up here to the color filler section. And down below, you'll see custom or conditional formatting. Um, this is a feature of Google Sheets. So over in here, they have if cell is, and you can say empty, not empty. You can color it based on values. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the text contains a value, I'm going to make it one color. And if it contains a different value, make it a different color. Very simple. So what I'm going to do here is say if it equals true, we'll make it green. And you'll see the trues all became green. What I'm going to do is do another rule and I'll say if the text contains false right here, I'm going to make it red and I'll hit done. So just like that, I now have a color coded. I can quickly visualize and see all the rows that have bad email addresses. OK, so now I have the emails that are uh, bad and I've color coded them. The last tip I'm going to show you is how to get rid of the duplicates. Google Sheets has a fantastic solution for that. All you're going to do is you're going to open up. You're going to highlight the rows. You're going to come up here to data and down below they have a remove duplicates action. When you click on that, you want to, if you have a header row, which I do, data has a header row. That's the titles of the columns. Make sure you select that because you don't want that removed. 
And then the columns to analyze, you wanna turn them all off and you're gonna look at what column in here you wanna search for duplicates. So I'm gonna search for email right here. And if I have a duplicate email in that list, I wanna get rid of it. So what I'm gonna do here is hit remove duplicates. And sure enough, it found that duplicate and removed it. So now I only have one jsmith at gmail.com. I don't have two and I have a clean list. So I hope you like this video. I shared several key tips. In summary, how to verify an email is, uh, is good. Secondly, color coding, formatting in, in the sheet. You could do that for any column. Third is getting rid of the duplicates. So hope this is a value. As always, I have your back. And then give me a like if you like this so I can spread the word to realtors and investors across uh, the YouTube world. Um, I'm sure many people could take advantage of these tips. Enjoy your day.